Hello Fakies, it's a new week. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Matindi Jacobs. Today's video is short and sweet. I'm going to be showing you some of the items I've purchased recently in terms of home decor and home organization tools. It's a home decor haul, my first one. I hope you'll enjoy it. Let's get right into it. So the first item I'm showing you is this mirror that I bought at Mr. Price Home. It's very minimalist, it's just a round mirror. They are really trending right now and mine has got a gold brass outer layer. And then over here I'm showing you my pampas squares. This is also trending. I'm selling this at Caribou Flowers so please have a look at the website. It's $200 for a bunch of six. And this is all over. If you just google pampas squares you'll see the different styles and the looks that people are using it. In their homes I really really like it and I styled it in these uh, floor vases so over here on my console table I've got a candle this candle I bought from Mr. Price home it's a soy wax candle it's always good to use soy wax as opposed to paraffin wax guys so make sure that your candles are soy based when purchasing they're just healthier to use uh, so the way I've styled this I've just got these tall elements these candle taper candlesticks I bought from at home I can't remember the price I think they were $89 for one so I use those here. Um, I shop from my house. I use those from my styling, from my coffee table, if you remember. Over there, I've got preserve roses. Then I've got these two ornamental wooden things that I got from my living room area. And the table is from Table Namibia. I had it custom made. It's got a faux marble finish and then the gold lining, which I really love. And these verses, I said before, like I said before, are from Cory Craft. Uh, so I've just styled those with the pampas grass. So moving on, I thought I'd share with you guys my new linen closet. This was just installed today by Mellow's Kitchen. These are the guys that do all the cabinetry in our house. Joe did a great job as usual and I decided to customize my doorknobs. Uh, if you follow my Instagram, I picked these up today from Poetries. They were about $45 and I wanted to make sure that they they would uh, fit with the rest of my decor in this area and you can see they've got that marble effect which then complements the marble effect here on the cabinet uh, sorry on the console table so i'm really impressed with these they were quite affordable so this is the easiest way guys to change up your cupboards or your wardrobe just to change uh, just change up your note your doorknobs so inside here i'm still going to style and organize it but i've got our vacuum cleaner there at the bottom and then i'm probably going to put some linens and towels in there yeah, it was just an empty space that i thought could be more functional so that we can get this stuff which is very bulky out of the guest room really happy with this and the way it turned out and especially these doorknobs go have a look at poetry guys they are really really good for these little thingies you know so this area is just it's the entryway from our garage when you come up the stairs as you can see we've got a blue wall here this is my husband's idea i'm still trying to convince him to allow me to change it we're probably going to make it white and the opposite wall the brown one as well I'm still playing around with some ideas so over to the kitchen, I picked up this cheese platter, cheese board from Mr. Price Home. It was $299. It's really big. I'm excited to be making use of this. Probably in summertime, I'll host like a champagne party with like a cheese platter thing. And I'm probably going to be able to serve a couple of people from here. So I'm really excited about this. I like the handles. It's really sturdy and I just love the look of it. Really, really, really nice. Item number two in my kitchen is this oil burner. I picked this up from Pep Home. It was $9. My friends, $9. I bought like four or five <laughs> and I have them all over my house. So this one is quite easy. You just put some oil there at the top and then you put a tea light candle at the bottom. I'm going to show you guys how to do this. And then, I mean, that, that's it. That's it. It's not a lot of work. It's quite easy, quite effective in making your house more beautiful. Uh, $9 from Pep Home. The oil I bought from at home. I think I bought it for my diffuser that I use in my son's bedroom. It was a bit, I think it was $200. But uh, I will advise that the oils that they have at Pep Home are not good, guys. You'll be wasting your money. They're cheap, but they're not effective. So just invest a little bit of more money in the oil. You can pick some up from at home or Pep Home. I, or, or what is this? Or oh, Mr. Price Home. I think this goes for $120. And it's quite effective in making your house smell beautiful. So the oil burner is definitely a recommendation for me. The next items are these spice jars. I picked these up from Pep Home. They were $6.99. So I'm trying to get a more organized kitchen and I think these are going to help me do that. Instead of buying the normal spice which comes in that jar which can be quite expensive, I'm buying these refills and then I just basically refill up my spice jars. So the idea is to get organized and this is going to help me do just that. 
Kitchen item number four is this beautiful butter dish. I got this as a gift from my daughter. It's so dainty, so pretty to look at. The color is different for me, but I thought it was going to be a nice addition to my kitchen. I love the gold detailing there and I can't wait to use it. Gorgeous. Item number five are these long dishes. I got these from Crazy Plastics. I'll be honest with you guys, I don't know what these dishes are actually for. But I thought that they would make a nice addition to my kitchen and I'll probably figure it out as I go. I've seen them being used for butter at the social restaurant. So maybe Simon you can advise what else can I use them for besides butter. But they're really cute. Kitchen item number six is this marble cheese tray. I couldn't resist. I bought two of them. They were a bit expensive. They were $390. But I felt like it was such a good find. Because it's marble and I love all things marble so unfortunately marble stains guys so it needs to be treated otherwise you get these yellow marks like I did so just be wary of that when purchasing marble I made use of this yesterday and the weekend before so I'm getting really good use out of it but just be careful about what you're putting on it item number seven was this beautiful cookie jar this was inspired by Chris Kardashians uh, if you watch the keeping up with the Kardashians oh, she's always got this a jar with cookies with Oreo biscuits inside of it and I, I thought I was gonna try it so I decided to purchase this together with the Oreos and it cost me a lot of money because it just doesn't get full I think I used about nine or ten packs of Oreos to get this jar full I'm quickly going to do a time a time lapse to show you the process of uh, packing those cookies it was a lot of work I'm probably not gonna try this again it's actually called the OCD cookie jar and it's called that for a reason you really need to be OCD to put yourself through all the drama of arranging these cookies but it looks so pretty in the end let me show you guys the process that I embarked on to get it looking nice and pretty oh my gosh So this is the final product, I'm um, happy with the way it turned out, they look cute, they look nice to look at. I also tried to do the Mary Biscuits, of course you can see that was a disaster, it did not work out at all. <laughs> yeah, but I think it's a lot, mo it's, 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 more work. it's more work than it's worth, so I probably won't try this again. But yeah, I did it, the Khloe Kardashian's OCD cookie jar. Next up, I thought I'd show you guys some of the gifts that I received for my birthday, which was in June. This is a vase I got from Nictus. Um, it's a big floor vase, but it can also be used as a table vase. I love the detail on there, nice and textured. And I'm using it in my guest toilet, and I've just placed some faux proteas and eucalyptus in there. I really like it, and I can't wait to put some fresh flowers in it. So this is it. So since I was in the guest toilet, I thought I'd share with you guys how I styled it. Um, so this guest toilet is just across the living room and you can see the detail I have there in the toilet paper. Just a little extra touch to make your guests feel special. Then I've got some perfume here that I got from Woolworths, like I said in the last video. And it's just for my guests if they are feeling like they need to freshen up then they can use that. I've got one for ladies and I've got one for male. Then I've got a nice buttery creamy hand cream over here also got this from Woolworths and then the fresh flowers I always gotta have some fresh flowers in my toilet or bathroom just brings a nice natural element and the flowers I have there are uh, that's the white gerbera I can't remember the last one the green one but yeah this is how it looks like in here so onto my vanity table I bought this chair the day before yesterday at at home it was half price and then I got there I showed them how dirty it was and they gave me a 20% discount on top of the half percent discount so I'm pretty impressed with this I love this it goes with the aesthetic of this place I love that it's sturdy I love the lines I really really like this chair it's so elegant it fits perfectly in this area over here we've got the doorknobs I was telling you telling you about I also got this from poetry so the idea guys is that whenever you want to update your cabinets or your cabinetry just change out the doorknobs 
these are gold and it's a stone it's like a pink stone with that gold detail at that uh, on, on, the, on the top and I really like it it really brings this area together and fits well with the aesthetic over to this side I bought a ring light I bought this yesterday from Mons Gadgets and Electronics they are black owned business they operate from Aromo go out and support them I bought this for $600 I think that is quite reasonable because I know there are other people on the market selling these ring lights for $2,500, $3,000. So I found this to be quite affordable. I'm probably going to use it soon. Maybe I'll do a makeup tutorial. Hey, hey! Moving right along to this lamp, I bought this bedside table lamp at, the, at Sheet Street at Maromo. It was originally $400. Then I got it for $179. I have two of them. The other one is in my daughter's room. I love how simple and elegant it is. This is the shade. It's a nice white linen feel. And then the glass. I love that it's see-through and I love the brassware. I'm really, really impressed with this. And for $179, I think it was quite a steal. Oh wow, I'm tired now. Last but not least, this little pineapple ornament. I think I got this from Cory Craft. I really can't remember. I'll have to think about it and put it in the description. So that's just an act, a little accent for my vanity table. Thank you guys so much for watching. This video it took way longer than I expected it to. I hope you like and subscribe and remember to follow me on Instagram for updates on what I'm doing around my house. Thank you for watching. Mwah!